Hey everybody, so I just want to make a very quick video surrounding what has been going on with this entanglement of the SEC with cryptocurrency and blockchain companies and very well-known projects, specifically surrounding Binance and Coinbase and a few cryptocurrency projects that we are all very aware of and why this is all hypo hypocritical. So I'm going to start off with Gary Gensler. If you guys are not familiar with who Gary Gensler is, he is the 33rd chairman of the SEC. He has also worked for MIT as well as a professor um, as, as recently as 2019. So not very long ago, about four years ago. And during this time period, he was a proponent for some crypto projects and companies. And we'll talk about that in a little bit on why this is so hypocritical. So recently, as of two days ago, actually, Binance was charged with 13 securities laws violations. And basically, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission came out two days ago and basically highlighted this. That we are updating as a effing unlicensed securities exchange in the USA, bro. Binance Chief Compliance Officer 2018. Now, what doesn't make sense here is... What Gary Gensler did with Binance, or attempted to do with Binance in 2019, I will explain that in a minute. Then, the very next day, we had Coinbase being charged. This is nothing new. We now have Coinbase being charged with 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 um, with uh, violations of securities laws. So, specifically for its staking as a service program. So. We have these two things that are occurring. Then, on top of this, we have, because of this, SEC with this Binance debacle, SEC alleges that Cardano, Solana, and Polygon are securities. Now, mind you, they said alleges. That is not conclusive. That means that it may be. It doesn't mean that they are. There's so much fear-mongering going on right now, saying that, oh, Cardano, Solana, Polygon, they're all securities. I don't know. This, that, and the other thing. It means that it's an allegation. That's it right now. Now, the funny thing is here is that when you look at the coins thereof, Filecoin, also, Atom, Sand, Mana, Algo, Axis, Infinity, and Cody, what is most surprising is the hypocrisy here. And this is why I wanted to make this video. The hypocrisy here. Mana. Not a mana, I'm sorry, Algo. So, Gary Gensler praised Algorand in 2019, who was a, and there was an individual who was a colleague of his in, uh, in the Masters Institute of Technology. And I have this video here for you guys to watch. Just 13 seconds. Uh, uh, Sylvia so McCallie's Algorand, uh, who's a uh, Turing Award winner at, at MIT that I work with. Um, Sylvia's got a great technology that has a performance you could create Uber on top of it. Uh, Sylvia McCallie's right. Algorand. Proves the point here, my point, and this is the problem. So now we have, even more hypocritical, we have Gary Gensler, who is, and the SEC is basically attacking Binance, but then this comes out an hour ago, that Gary Gensler offered to serve as advisor to crypto company in 2019. So according to a new filing by, by from Binance lawyers, SEC chair Gary Gensler offered to be an advisor to the crypto exchange in 2019. At the time, Gary Gensler was teaching at MIT Sloan School of Management. The hypocrisy here is you're attacking an entity that you wanted to advise four years ago. You're also making allegations for a coin that you're saying is a security, and yet you won't, that you were praising it four years ago. So where in the world do we stand here, Gary? Where in the world does this industry stand with you? Because there is no regulatory clarity. There is no regulatory function with cryptocurrency. And as a result, these blockchain companies are going to not only, not only other nations for innovation, but our adversaries as well. How, how do you reconcile that opinion? So I just wanted to make this video to just educate you guys a little bit and give you guys a little highlight of what's going on. I'll put these articles in the description for you and um, so you can read them for yourself. 
But uh, yeah, I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts.